All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. So we're recording this video with the newest update we have currently for Modern Warfare 2. What you need to do is like and subscribe to keep up with updates as the more this game progresses, settings will change. So what we have right now is we have the best FPS visibility settings, settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 right now. So follow along. And I promise, your game will improve. And welcome to the Lion's Den. Remember to subscribe, and let's get started. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get started. First things first. Right now, I have this on borderless, only because I'm trying to switch back and forth between my OBS. But, I recommend you leave this on full screen exclusive, okay? Now, as far as your... Screen refresh rate, make sure your hertz is set to the most that your monitor can get. And your display resolution, obviously the best that your monitor can get. Going through the menus here, dynamic resolution. Leave this off. It's going to do nothing for you. Don't, don't turn that on, please. Uh, aspect ratio, leave it at automatic. V-sync in the gameplay, leave it off if you want the most FPS. If you want your screen tearing to be a little less, but you're gonna have input lag, then you can turn it on for both of these, but I recommend you leave it off. Now, as far as custom frame rate, we leave the gameplay at max at 300. We leave the menu at 120, so the menus can be smooth and not like super slow. And then the out of focus can be whatever. Now, as far as your gamma, if you're on a TV, obviously 2.4, but since I'm on a monitor, 2.2 brightness, pretty self-explanatory. You want it like 50, maybe like 51, just so that's visible but not too visible. Focus mode, doesn't matter. Leave it off. It only matters if you have an ultra widescreen monitor, but for our situation, we don't. So going over here to quality, because we just changed the setting here, we're going to go and look at our render resolution it needs to be 100. <laughs> Now, as far as upscaling and sharpening goes, currently the best one right now is going to be the Fidelity FXCAS. And you're going to want to leave that at the CS strength of 75. Now, for your anti-aliasing, I recommend SMAA2T2X. Goodness, say that three times fast. T2X, T2X, T2X. Yeah, try to do that. And then anti-aliasing quality, leave it at low. Video memory scale, go 85. If your computer isn't that great, I would bump it down to like maybe 75. But I have a 3090 and a decent setup, so I'm going to leave that at 85. Your texture resolution, if you're on a you know pretty decent PC, go with normal. If you're on you know a lower-end PC, like a 2060 or something go low same thing with your texture filter and aniosotropic normal your nearby level of detail low distance level low your clutter draw distance you can leave that along now your particle quality you want that on high that improves your fps but you want the detail of it very low now your bullet impaction sprays is personal preference i leave it on it's, it looks cool to see where the impacts went shader quality shaders take up a lot of fps so i would definitely leave that on low um tessellation leave it off terrain memory max on demand texture streaming keep this off you don't want it downloading textures in the background while you're trying to play the game it's just not going to be good for you so we leave that off streaming quality leave it on normal uh, volumetric quality low uh, deferred physics quality off water aesthetics off and you want uh, your shadow map revolution so listen shadows take a lot of fps so you guys want to leave that at like very low or low and then your screen space shadows off spot shadow quality low spot catch low particle lighting for shadows low Okay, your ambient occlusion off, you want your screen space reflections off, your static reflection quality you want it on a low, weather grid volumes low. If you're using NVIDIA plus boost, on plus boost will give you better FPS. Off, 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 and zero. Now, for your view setting, you want this on 120. 
Okay, and you want this on 120, and you're affected, and then you want your default, and then you want your third person field of view at 90, vehicle field of view default, and you want your camera movement at least, least, third person ADS transition, first person in my opinion, and then you want your default spectator camera at game perspective. Now Chad, I do apologize there, we had the phone ring. We are working while we were filming this video, but I want you guys to know if you follow along, pay attention and do this, your graphics will look great and your game will run great. Now, if you benefited at all from this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It would really help boost the channel. And let's build a good community here of people that like playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. You have a blessed day. God bless y'all. Lion out.